all began with the report by a Nigerian investigative journalist who exposed a network involved in the racketeering of certificates from universities in Benin Republic and Togo. The report claimed that the certificates were being used to secure employment and gain admission, raising questions about the quality and accreditation of the issuing institutions. Following a report by a fact-finding committee, the Nigerian government decided to invalidate certificates obtained between 2019 and 2023. However, in response to the claims by Nigeria's Minister of Education, Professor Tahir Maman, the National Association of Nigerian Students in Diaspora has refuted the allegations. Let me create and correct an impression here. The certificate that I, Adamade Peter, carry, and alongside with most of the legitimate students who are not graduate, not fake. As I speak with you, my school is accredited by the Benin Republic Ministry of Education and Scientific Research, and Nigeria government, through the Ministry of Education, are acutely aware of this information that I'm given. According to Nan's diaspora, while there might be isolated cases of certificates racketeering, it is misleading and unfair to generalize the situation. That is a clear case of criminality. So we what we are saying is that should we use that same case to begin to uh, champion the fallacy of generalization? They pointed out that the Beninese Ministry of Education has expressed concern over what it described as misinformation being circulated and that all accredited institutions in Bene are recognized and authorized to award degrees. We interfaced with the interministerial committee set up to investigate certificate racketeering in Benin Republic. And they told us categorically that a broker was given to them by the Ministry of Higher Education, Benin Republic, to ascertain private universities in Benin Republic that are accredited and are following due course. They pointed out our schools, which we confirmed individually, that it is among the list of grad, uh, uh, accredited universities in Benin Republic. Only to my surprise that the minister said that there's only five public universities that are accredited in Benin Republic. Okay, I said before now, that's before 2017 and um, all the years preceding that year, certificates were co-signed by the Ministry of Education in Benin and the institution itself. Later on, the policy was adjusted that before that co-sign will happen, to sit for a national exam. The Nigerian students and diaspora believe the Nigerian government's stance on this matter could jeopardize the careers of thousands of graduates who have studied diligently in these countries. They want the government to rescind its decision. In Lagos for News Central, I am Likon Onobanjo.